Well, we're back at it today. In the last video, you've seen me ripping the roof off this place. That was Friday night. Today is Sunday. Yesterday, I got rid of all the buffalo board. I donated the tin to a rancher friend of mine. He uses it for cattle break, cattle wind break. And then Saturday, after we got rid of everything cleaned up, we uh, ripped off 3,000 square foot of shingles on another friend's house. So that petered us out pretty good. Then this morning, Sunday, went to church and then we put roof wrap on our house. So got all that taken care of. So now I'm here working on my little project. So next thing I gotta do before I roof it, cause I was gonna concrete, but I'm gonna roof it first. Just because I gotta line up somebody to make it pretty. So I'm gonna get rid of this eave. It doesn't need to be there. It really serves no purpose. Um, save us a little money in soffit and fascia. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then this eave here is shorter than the other side. You can see on the end down there, it's kind of wonky. Um, this actually was over the neighbor's property line when the guy built it, and the neighbor had him cut it off. So I'm gonna make this side of the shed, and just bring that look over to here. And then in the alley, I'm also gonna get rid of this eave. Because it's hanging over, just gonna take a skill saw, zip all that off is I'm not gonna put sheeting on the ceiling. I'm gonna take roof wrap and go from left to right here, all over the building. And then I'm gonna nail that to the purlins and then the tin's gonna to screw to that. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna spray foam this, the roof. And when I spray foam the roof, if I squirt it from the bottom, it'll stick to the tin and the tin will be on there forever. If I do it this way, the spray foam will be stuck to the bottom of the roof raft. And if I ever want to take the tin off or add an addition or anything, I can without destroying the rafters. So a little forward thinking there. Honestly, if this gunsmithing thing takes off, I'm going to build a shop over by that lean to that connects to my house it's going to be big huge and epic and probably two stories but for starters i got enough money in the budget to take care of this shop and buy some of my tooling so we're going to give this heck i got this thing all chopped off <clears throat> Crawled up there, got all the nails removed, so we got a nice flush thing. So the tin will just sit there flat. And there's some corner molding that goes over it to make it look all snazzy. That is done. Next thing I'm gonna do is climb up on the roof. I'm gonna measure from this top to that end over here. And then we're gonna make this side over here. Hopefully, if you see this 2x4 right here, <clears throat> that they lined up, hopefully that measurement's the same on both sides, within an inch. Is it an inch? Heck, if it's in, within two inches, I could fix it on the top of the ridge cap. So, let's see. So the wind likes to blow in South Dakota. Uh, a little bit. We got... 123 and a half from the peak of the roof up there to down here. Hopefully, when I crawl on the other side, it'll be the same. I'm gonna write that down because I forget stuff. 123 and one. Yeah, all right. Let's hop over yonder to the next spot. I used to weigh 45 pounds more than I do now. Days like this, when I'm running up and down a roof like a dang squirrel. Anybody that knows me, you can call me a lot of things, but 
squirrel like is not one of them. Come on, come on, bitch. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, you cheap tape measure. All right, hooked. And go, oh, darn it. This is 126 and a half. Uh, so I gotta move that three inches down. Oh well. My good friend Max says sometimes life just sucks. I don't wear one of them silly watches that tells me how many steps I did today. How many flights of stairs I climb and everything else. I think it's best served in how many aspirin and ibuprofen a guy's got to take at the end of the day after he works. This stuff gets tiring. Well, we're back at it again today. I got my helper Boaz over here. Say hi, Bo. He's taking off all the wood. Isaac's digging holes in the dirt, so that's good. Oh, left off. Had friends over. So now we're getting back to the, uh, just so straightening out everything that was kind of wrong with this. Friend helped me mark all these things. Up here, they're all marked. You gotta saw all them off. Talk to the neighbor. He uh, he said I could take apart his fence, which is nice of him, so I can get my big butt back there, so I can tin it. So this is a proud dad moment. What'd you do, Boaz? I did all of those things right my daddy told me. Yeah, he took all these boards off all by himself. I didn't have to do nothing. Give me fives, buddy. Way to keep up the good work. Now, good. All right, so that was that. We got everything trued up. So this side is identical to this side over here. The sides are gonna take the tin and stuff off. But I can deal with that later. I got a rotten board I gotta replace. Right there, I gotta take a couple screws out on the far end. Well, last night went through, replaced that rotten board that I showed you guys earlier. And I also pulled all the nails, got everything sexed up up top. Um, not long or hard, what what where to go next but the tin showed up played around with the roof wrap material going over like in, in this direction and the I don't know if we did get water underneath there heaven forbid it'd just be sitting on the foam and two by fours um, talked to Max a good friend of mine they had some roof wrap left over so I'm just gonna put roof wrap from left to right <clears throat> on the purlins just like you're supposed to. That'll give us something to squirt the foam to and it won't let the tin stick to it. So some ideas you gotta change along the way. I'm gonna call it a wrap on this. The next one will be me and hopefully somebody else, maybe the wife, I can guilt her into helping me tin and we'll get her tin.